Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Veda, and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel, I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to get out of debt and simplify our financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Happy May to all of you um, and happy bonus content Wednesday. I really um, could not get over how beautifully these gorgeous ranunculus fit into the theme of May. May leading into summer, super happy and sunshiny and wonderful. And I couldn't leave these here. Um, I am a sucker for a fresh cut flower anyway, but the ranunculus are always out of stock anytime I go to Trader Joe's <clears throat> and they still had tons left over when I was there this week so I could not help but pick up a bunch or two <laughs> so that I could include them in the video in today's video well and for as long as they will last me so <laughs> fingers crossed for a long life for these ranunculus and it was actually when I saw these I'm like okay I think I might need to try my hand at growing them um, so I think I might put them in my backyard garden, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, totally not related to the video, but I mean, I knew that you guys would see these flowers and absolutely love them. So don't sleep on Trader Joe's for their fresh cut, fresh cut flowers. If for no other reason you visit Trader Joe's, their snacks and their fresh cut flowers. And actually sometimes their seasonal ice creams are just so fantastic. So anyways, hi, welcome back. I hope that your week has been good so far. Um, mine has been a super productive one, so that's always nice. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into today's video. So this is going to be the final Etsy budget with me for the month of April. Um, I am not going to continue this series just because it feels a little redundant to me. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe budget with me's are redundant. And if enough of you want me to bring them back, um, I might. But for the time being, I just was like, well, I don't know if I need to continue these. But if you guys feel strongly about it, just let me know in the comments. Like if you don't mind seeing these from week to week, I certainly don't mind including them. Um, it's just something that I'm like, I don't want to overwhelm you guys with content or make you feel like my content isn't worthwhile or beneficial to you in some capacity. So, you know, and sometimes you get in your own brain about things. And so that's sort of what's driving my desire to um, stop these. But again, just let me know what your feelings are on it. Um, you're not going to hurt my feelings if you're like, no, Veda, this just isn't it for us. Um, I'm not like, you know, I'm not finicky about that sort of thing. Honesty really is the best policy. Anyways, um, this or the month of April was a magic month for me for Etsy. So I am paid every Monday from Etsy. So um, I I had five Mondays in the month of April and so it worked out really nicely because it really it gave me an opportunity to show you guys like big picture what we do with our side income and how we treat it and how from month to month it even changes sometimes because we're saving up for different things. Uh, for example, actually going into May since as I've mentioned a thousand times here, my mom and sister are coming at the end of the month. Um, we are really wanting to bulk up our dine out and family fun envelopes. And so for the month of May, my Etsy paycheck is going to help supplement, help supplement those things as well. So even though you won't see me budgeting it, just know that that's sort of what the plan is for the month of May. Um, right now, you know, as you've seen the last couple of weeks in April, I used extra money to fund actually a variety of things we did dates, we did home decor, we did family picks and vacation were like the two number one things. But without talking about it, without actually showing it to you, let's just jump into the budget with me. So a little budget planner here. The binder is from Jumping Fox Designs. I'll leave it linked below. And then my planner is in my Etsy shop, um, which is also linked below. Oh, do you know what? No. <laughs> First, let me go ahead and put up 
the giveaway winner. So as of actually filming this video, I haven't drawn the winner yet, um, but I will go ahead and leave the screenshot of the person's comment up on the screen now so that you can see. Um, and just a refresher, um, the giveaway was for a $25 Etsy gift card so that you can support another small business. I was so flattered by the amount of you who said um, that you would spend it in my shop. You are so, so sweet. Um, but I really, I mean, as a person who's been operating a small business for the last year, um, I really love to throw some love at other small businesses as well, as well. And I was so happy to see so many of you in the comments sharing with us, um, other businesses that you really love and want to support and things like that. So congratulations to the winner, um, who gets to use their $25 at Etsy in whatever way they choose. So anyways, now that I've gotten that out of the way, stay tuned for the end of the video because I will announce the final giveaway as well. Um, and the winner of that one, I'm just gonna give you a heads up now and I'll repeat it at the end of the video, but the winner of that one will be announced in my Etsy and YouTube cash stuffing, which will be coming next week, I think. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. So I am still in the month of April though, cause this is an April Etsy pay. Here we go. Paycheck plan Etsy number five. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these pages out so that I can have a smooth rating service, service, surface. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and zoom you guys in and then we will get into the actual budget. Okay, I know in my zoom ins, I usually leave my candle in the corner, but I cannot do that today. These ranunculus are giving me so much joy. So I want them to bring you joy as well. So anyways, here we go. We're just gonna jump right into it. Um, so like I've mentioned before, but if this happens to be your first time ever watching my channel and you've missed the rest of these videos, I, I typically do not share my budget process with our side income with you guys on my channel, but it's been requested for long enough that I have decided to do it. Um, so this is the fifth in this particular series because as I mentioned before, um, April was a magic month for my Etsy shop, which just means that I get an extra pay than I usually do in that particular month. What I do overall with my Etsy and YouTube pay is supplement um, non-essential categories in our budget that I wish had a little bit more um, money going toward them. Um, but we are paying down debt. And so non-essential categories don't get as much money as I would like for them to get while we're doing that. But the nuts and bolts of it is um, taxes is always a thing. Taxes comes off the top because Etsy and YouTube are untaxed income. And then we th always throw, well, not always. In the past, we threw 10% of my Etsy and YouTube income at our debt. But now we're throwing more of our main income at debt. And so we've reduced this to 5%. And then I also have to put money back into the business. So 15% goes toward materials, 5% goes toward equipment, and 5% goes toward shipping, su shipping supplies. The rest of it is completely just, you know, um, non-essential categories. And these things, with the exception of his and hers, this is my husband and I spending money, these things will change from month to month. It just depends on what I'm feeling like that month really needs maybe a little bit of a bolster. Uh, with the exception of house project. House project is a non-essential spending category in our budget, but it is something that I always, always use my side income to supplement because I wish it was getting more of our main income. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, oh, I don't have a calculator. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I definitely needed a calculator. I'm bad at math on a good day. And percentages, while I can think, I can do percentages and whole numbers very easily, um, there's no way I'm doing percentages in these numbers. So anyways, my pay this week from Etsy was 166.11. And so first off the top, we don't even get to enjoy. 25% goes to taxes. Um, we put that in a high yield savings account and we have to pay our taxes once a quarter since um, if you are earning $1,000 at a minimum um, that is untaxed, 
you have to pay the government for that quarterly so that they do not levy a fee against you at tax time for withholding what they consider to be their money away from them. So I will not get into the unconstitutionality of that, but this is where we stand. So like I said, 166.11 and 25% uh, goes to taxes. So that is $41 and 52 cents. Um, I don't put any change at it. I just round it to not round it. Taxes, I actually always round down. Like I'm never going to round this up to $42, but it was accurate last year when we did taxes. So I'm going to maintain that system. So yeah, so $41 is going to taxes and that is all from this section here. Um, these paycheck plans come, I actually, I think I have this as a separate um, printable download in my Etsy shop. I can't remember a hundred percent, but I know for sure it's in my month budget plan. Um, and so, you know, we kind of, this isn't like, I'm not using this exactly as it was intended, the paycheck plan, but it gets the point across and you can see the multitude of ways that you could actually use something like this in order to work within your own budget. But anyways, Taxes, I guess, is an, it, it, it does fall under the bills and expenses category. So that's why I put it here. Um, and that's $41. And then moving over to the 401k loan, this is where the, the 11 cents that I got paid will go. Because with our debt, we just throw all the change that we get in, an, in, in our income to our debt because every penny counts. So at least in my brain, it does. So 166.11 times 5%. And that's going to be eight dollars and thirty cents. But I don't do the change again. I'll just do the eleven cents that are that's over here that was actually part of the income. So um, I'll just put it here: eight dollars and eleven cents. And since I have two uh, categories here that also get five percent, equipment and shipping supplies, I'll just move the eight dollars down here as well. So eight dollars for equipment and eight dollars for shipping supplies. And then. We will go ahead into materials. So 166.11 times, hold on, 15%. And that is 24.91. I'm just going to keep it at 24. Sometimes I round up and sometimes I don't. And nobody understands my process. I don't even understand my process. House project also gets 15%. So I'm just going to put that $24 there. So now we are left to just sort of figure out what we're going to do with the remainder. Um, we do, so if you've been watching for the entire month, my goal was to put $50 toward vacation. And I think we had like $96 to put toward family pictures. Um, we are wanting to get family pictures done since we haven't done them in seven years. <laughs> And it was $250. And so we did fund some of the $250 in the month of April, but we rolled over a $96 deficit, essentially. We still haven't gotten the family pictures done yet because the weather has been unpredictable here. But I'm considering it a deficit just because we needed to come up with $96 to fill out the $250 cost. So... From week to week, I've been putting little bits at vacation and family picks from whatever I've made as I've broken down the budget. And so what remains for this week, and since it's the last pay for the month of April, is uh, $10 for vacation and $19 for family picks. And so I am just going to go ahead and move these over to fully fund both of these categories. And so they are done. And I'm so, so beyond excited about that um, just because, you know... When you have a goal in mind, you hope that you can achieve it, but because side income is so unpredictable, you don't really know what you're getting yourself into. And so being able to fund these was definitely like, it's a perk. It's definitely a perk. So thank you to those of you who have supported my Etsy shop specifically in the month of April because you have helped contribute in this way. So thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do now actually is figure out how much we have remaining then to fund these last four categories. So we started with 166.11. We did 41 for taxes, $8.11 for debt, and then 24 for materials, eight for equipment, eight for shipping supplies, 24 for house project, 10 for vacation, and 19 for family picks. So that 
leaves us $24. And that splits evenly actually <laughs> among these four categories. So that's what I'm gonna do. 24 bucks divided by, yeah, four. So that's $6 for each. And that's just what I'm gonna do. Sometimes I give more to one category over another and some, sometimes I don't feel the need to. And in this case, I'm like, let's just do an even split. It's not like dates is a super high priority. We still have not gone on our last date from our last debt payoff. And so our envelope is fine in order to make that date happen. And home decor is not like a super high priority here. I mean, I am trying to save for some couch pillows, but you know, as far as like saving for things is concerned, I don't mind splitting it evenly. Plus also, and this is just full disclosure, and I don't think I've ever addressed it necessarily directly before. Um, but one of the reasons why I fund our spending money, well, it's twofold. Um, one, the first being I work really hard in my Etsy shop and like to make my products and, you know, it takes time away from my household and my family. And I like to honor that work that I do by giving myself spending money from that pay check. Um, and also the same goes for my husband. Um, for years and years, he was the only, and I'm saying this understanding or knowing that you're going to understand what I mean here. He was the only working person in my house. Um, by that, I mean earning an income. And he has always been the primary breadwinner in our house. And he has always worked very hard to provide for our family. And I don't view my paycheck as my paycheck. Um, just like he has never viewed his paycheck as his paycheck. It's always ours. It's always to the benefit of the family. And so I always feel like, you know, being able to give ourselves spending money with this side earned income is a nice perk of being able to provide this extra income for our family in this way. So anyways, I know that was like kind of a preachy tangent, but I really mean it. Um, and um, I don't remember what, like where I was going with that thought. Oh, the other reason why um, we do we do give ourselves spending money from my side income is because, especially me, um, I am a spendy person and I am a person who is a recovering spender. Uh, when I first started my channel, if you are new here, I we started 2023 with just under $59,000 worth of debt. And a lot of that was accrued just because of irresponsible budgeting in general. But also I am a person who I'm like, I'm, I'm an impulse buyer. I'm, I'm an impulse shopper. And I have had to work really hard over the last year to remedy that. But I also like to in working myself away from being that type of person, I also know myself and I know that if I don't have the spending money sitting there to be able to indulge every now and then in something that I want and not necessarily need, although I am changing those habits as well, um, I won't be successful. Um, what I have found for myself is that teetotaling is not a good method for undoing bad habits. Um, slowly moving away from bad habits is, has always been really beneficial for me. And so that is something that I wanted to honor in this process of becoming somebody who doesn't spend frivolously, but intentionally. Um, but also in that is allowing myself the ability to spend. So anyways, if you're like me, that would be like my number one piece of advice to you is if you do have the wiggle room in your budget to allow yourself to have spending money so that you can, you're still forcing yourself to make good decisions and to think about what you're spending and to be intentional about what you're spending, but you are allowing yourself the wiggle room of spending if you have the ability to do that. So I highly, highly encourage that if you are trying to change your behavior Teetotaling is not necessarily the way for everybody to do a thing. Um, slowly, you know, and methodically changing bad habits is a really good way of ensuring that you have a lifelong overturn of bad behavior. So anyways, that went off on a tangent, but 
those are things that I think it's important to share along the way that you pick up on these little budgeting hacks or life hacks, things that have benefited you. It really helps when we share all of that information with each other. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and total this section just because I want to make a thousand percent sure that we did all of the math incorrectly. So from sinking funds, we've got 24, 8, 8, 24, 6, 6, 6, 6, 10, and 19. And that is $117. And just like I've been saying this whole time, like I, a but, uh, um, not a budget, a, well, kind of a budget, a paycheck might seem small, but if you're consistent with it and you stick to your process, it can do incredible things. So um, definitely don't poo on a small paycheck or something. Be consistent with it have the discipline and you'll actually be able to make your dollars and cents stretch, I promise. So here we go. So we've got 41 from bills and expenses, $8 and 11 cents from debt and 117 from sinking funds. And that leads us to 166.11. So that's it. We did it. We zero base budgeted a side income and we did five of them in the month of April, so that was really fun too. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys back out and then we will finish out this video. So now that we are zoomed back out, and I'm not like right in your face, um, the only, I mean, the only thing that we have left to do is to just announce this week's giveaway. So what I am doing for the final giveaway is giving away a $50 voucher to spend in my Etsy shop. Um, Full disclosure, I have mentioned a few times here, but if you happen to just have missed that, I am revamping quite a few things in my shop and I'm going to be adding new products and things and that relaunch is going to go live on June 1st. So just know that obviously you're more than welcome to spend the $50 right away, but um, you know, you might wanna wait until June 1st because I am switching up just about everything. Um, I'm switching up like the fonts for my envelopes. I am adding another, I'm adding quite a few new products. I am offering um, a variety of ways to have my budget planner. And so it's just, it would, be, it would behoove you to wait until June 1st so that you can have access to all the new things that I have planned. Um, but I understand if you would want to use it right away. Anyways, that's it. It's going to be $50 to my shop that you can spend on whatever you want in my shop. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, I am going to announce the winner of this giveaway in the Etsy and YouTube cash stuffing that's going to go up next week. So you'll still have literally until just about I film the video, which is like a day or two before, um, the video goes up that you'll have to enter this giveaway. And the only thing um, that you have to do to be entered to participate in this giveaway is be a public subscriber of my channel and then leave me a comment down below telling me what it is you're excited to spend um, your money, your voucher on in my shop if 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 you're if you were looking to spend something on something in my shop that you know already exists. Like my envelopes are not going away at all. My envelopes will always be there. Um, my placeholders, like things aren't changing that much. I'm just adding a little bit more and, and fluffing them up a bit, if you will. So that's it. Just let me know those things. You have to be publicly subscribed to my channel and let me know what in my shop you would be most excited to spend your money on. And that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in to today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment down below, even if you don't want to be entered into the giveaway. Um, it is open to everybody. Um, I ship internationally, so you know, feel free to enter even if you live overseas. 
And uh, that's it. I'm going to be back here with you guys on Friday with my weekly check-in. I'm not going to miss that one this week. <laughs> um, so until then, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic week and I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Bye everyone. Thank you.